Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737, and today is February 11th, 2021. Um, it's Thursday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time, and I'm doing the daily readings from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops website. And so, let's get to the first reading, which is Genesis 2, 18-25. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none provided to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up onto a woman, into a woman, sorry, the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of her, uh, man, this one has been taken. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. In the next reading is Mark seven twenty four through 30. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter was an unclean spirit, oh, who had an unclean spirit, heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was Greek, a Syrophician by birth, probably said that wrong, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, for saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon was gone. This is all a testament of just how powerful Jesus was. I'm not aware of any exorcisms at all where a demon was casually cast out and not even in visual um, presence of the person afflicted with it. That, that's just amazing. And it's just amazing everything that was uh, posted here. I mean, uh, that, that God has done giving us his son and giving us wives to have children with. Um, that That's also one of the most absolute amazing gifts that God created. Um, our greatest companion, which is women. As a man, our greatest companion is women. And for women, our greatest companion is men. I just wish people treated each other better and, and realize that when they find their wands. There's no one else that we can create life with, with our love, which is our partners. And I'm, I'm so thankful that, that God created women for us men. And as a man, we should do our best to do the same so women feel the same. It's a two-way street. Anyway... The glory be with God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. And I wish peace to you all today. And have the beginnings of a good weekend. I know. <laughs> Bit early starts tomorrow. Can't wait because of Valentine's Day. Anyway, take it easy. Peace be with you.